I feel very fortunate. I went to California College of Arts and Crafts, which they now call the California College of Arts, which I think is a terrible mistake. I had a really good academic art training. The, the, the instructors that I had were, oh, they were left over from the 20s, a lot of them. And uh, there were a few really modern thinkers, too. One of my best instructors was a guy named Charlie Gill who uh, really got us up to speed. But it, it's a private school, I think, as everybody knows. It, at that time, it was very inexpensive. I could afford to go. I worked, when I went there, I, I worked night shifts. I started college late. I was same age as a couple of my instructors. But uh, man, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, If you're really talented, art is a sublime thing. But you know, just regular good art is a lot of tricks uh, that I don't think young people are getting nowadays in school. They're, they're paying so much to go to school and they want grades and uh, I, I never went in with the intention of teaching. I, I saw what happened to friends that went into teaching and uh, some of the teachers I had. Some of them were really good artists but you know, pretty soon they're owned by the company store. And were, they, we didn't have really crafts there. We had ceramics, and there was somebody up in the top of Guild Hall, Trudy Gumperts, which everybody would know who she is. I think I pronounced it right. And they did weaving, but they were like, ooh, who are those people? You never saw them, you know. They never got much sun or anything, we think. Anyway, no, it was, it was a great time to go to school. I went, I went there from, I believe, 58 to about 60. And I'm not quite sure. I was married. I was working night, night graveyard shift. My wife was driving a, a roach coach, coffee truck, and uh, we lived in a real inexpensive place. But you didn't, need, you didn't need much to live on in those days. And uh, it was a good life. I mean, I, 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 I can remember somebody, we're in the lunch, in the caf, cafeteria, we were talking, and somebody says, geez, they're going to start English next year. I said, what? English? Learn English, you know, English class or something. I said, I'm out of here. So I was there about, I think, about three and a half years. I don't have any degree or anything, but uh, I did get a good education in that respect. But uh, I can speak fairly well. I don't need English. And, you know, academia runs this goddamn place, the, the, the institutions. And it's a really something that I'm not terribly happy about. Art students, craft students, they have to take English, psychology. I don't know, pretty soon they'll be making them do math and write big papers, you know, to get some sort of degree. Well, the English degree people or who, psychology degree people, they don't have to make a Goddard high boy, do they, for their thesis? It's bullshit. And those poor buggers, you know, they get to work in the studio, the furniture department studio for lesser graduate student, you know, maybe five hours a week. Well, that's, that's no good. I mean, glue doesn't even dry for Christ's sake in that amount of time. I, I really resent it, I really resent. But I guess they're gonna go teach, you know, but what are they gonna go teach? They graduate from the wood program, or are they gonna go teach you know, internal medicine somewhere, need Latin, you know, bullshit.